everyone we are back on the road again after a while I had we had a bit of a break we are down <laughs> at Kendall's campground pretty sure that's what it's called in Rubicon which is in Victoria um, we've got our four-legged children and our two two-legged ones over there <laughs> um, and we're just about to set up so we'll show you our campsite once we've done packing it is a good stinking hot 30 degrees today it's going to be the same tomorrow so let's see what we can get up to okay we have we are fully ooh, fly we are fully set up there's the man of the hour and this is what it's time for Need this. Yep. cheers there's our little setup over there got a good spot we've got another couple of families joining us one tonight we have another one tomorrow got a nice little fireplace over there i'll have to move my car for one of the vans and let me spin around without making you too dizzy another whole area just over there so now we're going for a walk with the dogs and the kids we've got to check out the water splash some water on ourselves it is bloody hot, oh, it's hot. <laughs> we are sweating and i think we've only we've been here for about half an hour or so so oh, Hear the dog hey, barking already. Thing, I'm pretty proud of this. We got here, the ground's not level, it's on a bit of a hill. Our caravan is spot on level, it's awesome. It's probably the second time we've ever done it. <laughs> We're usually sleeping at a, a bit on of an angle. angle. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out the um, water. Water is bloody clear as. Wow. Now, yeah, shall I be the sacrificial lamb again? Yes, always. Alright. Hold my beer, they say. Here you go. You're always a sacrificial lamb. Here we go, it's cold. Sacrificial lamb, apparently. <laughs> He's gonna go downstream. <laughs> See you later, Lee. Nearly lost me. Okay, so at Kendall's camp area, there are a couple of walking trails you can actually do if you're keen on it. Um, there is a short little one, it's an easy walk. It's only 1.1 um, each direction and it is flat pretty much like that all the way which is great or if you're keen and you want to do something a little bit more serious there is the um, 8.2 kilometer it is a return one but you are pretty much going to be going up a hill and back around um, there are some obstacles so you might find like a tree on the ground for example um, yeah so if you're keen there's a few things to do around here but otherwise it's really nice and peaceful not too busy on this end where we are and the drop toilets otherwise are pretty clean over here as well got lee trying to fly the drone up okay it's dozer's birthday weekend this weekend away camping so we are going to make him a special treat we are going to make him a special peanut butter cake so it's a pretty simple recipe i'm going to make two only because we do have two dogs so it won't be fair to just give dozer a cake all to himself so i actually picked up from woolies today these little how cute are these little fellows little baking trays so we're going to use them for their cakes all we actually need for the recipe is some wholemeal flour which I have and you just need about half a cup for each cake we need one egg about a teaspoon of baking powder and about three tablespoons of peanut butter any peanut butter I just picked up whatever I saw at Woolies um, it does the main ingredient however is an apple so I am going to get Natalie to do all the hard work over here to shred up an apple for us mix it all together and we're going to pop it in the weather to cook that cake and we'll see how it turns out
so we have our two little containers ready to go please turn the weather on it is sitting at temp we want it at about that 180 degrees so that's ready to go so we've got our little setup over here to convert our a grill to an oven thank you Weber and then all I'm gonna do is back these two on in the middle put the lid down and hopefully in about 20 minutes or so should rise up and got a toothpick give it a poke as you normally would for a normal cake and if it's ready it's it's ready if it's not dogs are still eating it <laughs> all right let's check on the doggy cake Right. Yep, she's already. We'll pull her out, let her cool down. We're going to top it with some peanut butter. That's going to be their icing. And I've got some little biscuit treats I'm going to put on top. And that's going to be their special cake. And there you have it. Doza's birthday cake. One for him and one for little Winnie Poohs. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Doza. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! Happy birthday, Doza. You gonna have your cake? Come on. One, two. Yeah. 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 Wins is like, what about me? Oh, which is a big one. Yeah. Have a treat first? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, the things you have to do to unhook a caravan. <laughs> guys so tonight's first night here we're gonna have an easy meal I'm, uh, but I'm gonna cook it on my slot man which we've had for about oh, four years now um, we're gonna do tandoori chicken wraps and uh, it's so simple and it's great for camping all of this is marinated with tandoori paste and yogurt and all that Kristen's gonna magically put the jar up here and uh, we'll cook them off have some yogurt and some cucumber and all that with it and um it should be delish Good morning guys, Saturday morning, sun's shining, it's going to be 33 degrees today, I'm definitely hopping that water again, um, we're going to have a little bit of a cook-off, or a cook-up, 
uh, to cook up. Uh, today we're going to have mushrooms and we've got some chicken sausages. We put some stag chili, the dynamite one, of course, on top of the mushrooms. Which and, we'll pay for later. Yes. <laughs> and we'll bang some cheese on top, we'll let it melt over top, and uh, beautiful. Nice, simple, a light too, so you don't get so full, no carbs. Protein. Till the bread comes out to have with the snakes. <laughs> no, just meat. Meat and veg. There you go. All right. All right. Nice. All right, we're done. Before we open it up, remember, always a must. <laughs> flies, flies. All right, have a little bit of cheese. Beautiful. Oh, bang. Good. Now, who wants some mushrooms? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, everyone wants one now. So, here we go. All right, so tonight we're going to have a barbecue. And uh, the reason is because we are in Thornton. And this is the best butcher. Where are we again? Thornton. 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 Can't hear him with his croaky, bloody voice. I Thornton. swear. We're in Thornton. Jesus. His, his bakery. It's called the Smokehouse. No, the butcher. Bakery. <laughs> it's called the Smokehouse. They do their own Kranskis and all that. Oh, the Cabanas. The Cabanas are the best. They do a new one, pepperoni and beer, and it is beautiful. So I'm gonna get in here, get some meat. I want thick cut loin chops. So I'm hoping they can, uh, can do that for me. And um, tonight we'll cook it up on the fire, beautiful. So we have just come back from the Thornton Butcher. Beautiful, beautiful meat, but a bit pricey. So we paid about 70 bucks, I think, for some sausages and some pork chops and something else, Lee's got. So we'll see what he's cooking up tonight. Um, it is bloody hot today. So I think it's time for a wine. So let's head. Wine o'clock, I think. Need to go to the fridge. Lee's got my wine in his car. And... Need to top up. It sure isn't too bad. It was cold, but not too oh, bad. Who do we have here? Well, you know, you need a star on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pop in. So this is what happens when Jeez. you camp next door to your brother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> I've had to walk six k's to get here. I know. But anyway, at least you'll get some views now because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one o'clock for me. I need to go to the back of Lee's car. <laughs> get myself my wine and top up. Funny that, eh? Bumping into another YouTuber while we're on holidays. This is my go-to, just so you know. Not much of a wine drinker, but when I do, I do prefer a Moscato. Took me a while to find this one, but this is the Brown & Co. A little dry Moscato made by Brown Brothers. This is my all-time favorite. It's not too sweet at all. I have gone off the sugar heaps but this is my absolute go-to wine so if you've ever like a bit of moscato something sweet it is really really refreshing especially on a hot um summery day um you must try this wine out cheers guys all right we are going down to the water because it is 30 something degrees here We've all got our drinks, hats, sunscreen. There's the gang and the dogs heading down to the water. It's probably going to be freezing, I know, but we've just got to do it. Just got to get in. Let's go in. Come on. 
almost like a personal blog it seems to be only me in front of the camera but the water is magnificent um, we were probably in there for about an hour or so we were sweating so we're lucky we got our bathers on in the first place um, but yeah we're just gonna go back up to the van now get a couple of drinks rehydrate and probably head back down a bit later on and we'll see you then slides in together, it's portable, it's good for camping, especially in those places where uh, you can't have you need a fire pit, so that's what we take with it, but we cook on this. So we use our camp ovens on it, we've got a hot plate, but, and then, but tonight I'm gonna use me swinging. So we're getting the wood ready, getting it down the coals, swinging it in, and uh, the pork chops, and uh, uh, lamb back straps are gonna go on here. And we're gonna have some corn, some broccolini, and that's us done for the night. It's easy, but it gets good protein. Good protein. So stay with us, and you'll see this copula. Yep. Okay, we're about to put the chops on. Just have a look how thick that is. Now, they didn't have me lamb loin chops, they had these in stock. Um, but to make up for not having lamb, I did get a couple of lamb back straps to marinate. So we're gonna put them on probably five minutes to go. But all we've done with this, salt, pepper, um, pepper seasoning, um, and some garlic and oil. That's all we need, because the fire is gonna give us all the flavor. I've got some rosemary on there as well, just some dried rosemary, because I love rosemary. Looks good. Beautiful. My hot tip this is what I want to give to you. Whenever you go buy sausages, you know they're going to kink in them like this. Don't throw them on. It's not going to cook. Put them on the curved side down, and then as it cooks, it pulls it open so it goes nice and straight. And that's another reason why I use only grill Molliver, because cooked sausage is perfect and it always tastes better. See, just put them down like that, and as they cook, and you'll have a nice straight sausage. So that's my hot tip for today.
welcome back to Cocktails with Kristen. Um, today we are making a French martini, which is one of my favorite ones. So here are all the ingredients we actually need. So the star of the show for a French martini is your vodka. Any vodka will do. This is just what I picked up on my way to the campsite. You do need your raspberry liqueur. So we do have our Chambord. Um, pineapple juice, anything will do and any bit of garnish. So you can either have raspberries to garnish or you, we've got a bit of um, dried orange over here. And all you need is your cocktail shaker with some ice in it. Put your ingredients together and give it a good shake and voila, pretty much done. Pretty simple stuff. Um, you need about two ounces, which is probably about 60 mil. Um, now I don't even have my measuring cup today so I'm going to use my <laughs> my trusty little um, cocktail shaker lid so I'm going to use that as my little guide today so we need about two ounces of that one one of the um, pineapple juice and just a quarter so I'm going to play a guessing game with this one we're going to give it a good shake and um, see how we go <laughs> There you go, a little French martini in not a martini glass. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh, that is delicious. <laughs> okay, if you have any cocktail recipes you would like for us to have a go at and try on our channel, please pop it through in the comments and um, we'll give it a go. Cheers, guys. This is actually pretty good. Cheers. <laughs> this is the 
story of my life. Either it's, it's too bloody windy. Oh shit. It's either too windy to fly the bloody drone, or there's no GPS signal, or Lee loses control of it completely. <laughs> Mind you, this is quite cold water and I am not helping as you can see because this is more fun <laughs> to watch. So I don't think we're going to get any drone footage. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Pants are falling out. <laughs> Just stay in there honey, wash yourself off. <laughs> Oh lord. Things you want to do for some good footage, eh? This is what's gonna happen. <laughs> sold out of their donuts today. So Nat wanted a donut and she's not getting any. <laughs> this is the A Bakery. Pretty good. Go in town. Check it out. Alright, at Yay there is a new honey store. Can't say no to honey. So I'm gonna have to go in and check it out. Alright, we're just in the honey shop. They've got some balms as well to make, but all local produce. Look at these little earrings. Some jewellery. And you can always taste before you buy. I love the spring mix. It's got the box, so that's my one that I'm going to buy. Um, creamed honey, something I haven't tasted, but hmm, I think I might have to give that a go. She's just using the fridge because I just learned that cold, extreme cold temperature crystallizes the honey. So she's got like a bit of a heater mat in there at the bottom. And so it actually keeps it nice and room temperature overnight so it doesn't crystallize. Pretty good if you want to learn about beekeeping, bees and honey in general. And if you're into it, there's a few guys and books she's got in here as well for you to purchase. And the all important 
beekeeping manual if you're into it. And if you want to start yourself up with beekeeping, she's got all the supplies you need here, including the suits to keep you safe, all in store. Got a little wood shop in here. So if you're into beekeeping and want to start up, you should come check her out. Ooh, cute little colours too. Wow. Okay, we are back home. Probably took us about 45 minutes to unhook the caravan and unpack a lot of laundry to do obviously um silly me when i was at the um at the at the b store i dumped in my car and i pulled out the stuff that i bought and i started filming myself what i thought i did <laughs> come home had a look at all the footage and go hmm i must have forgotten to hit record so anyways i'm doing it now at home so hang on let me sit down because my arm's starting to hurt Okay, sitting now, comfortable. Um, so yeah, a bit of a backstory with the owner of the, the bee supply store. Um, she makes her own honey. She's got her own little bee farm. She's also got friends that makes their own honey as well. Um, but every time she wanted supply, she had to drive all the way into Melbourne and started to get a little bit sick of it. Um, so during COVID, when things were a little hard to go in and out from regional Victoria, I guess, into Melbourne CBD, um, she just said, bugger it, and sat, opened up her own little store. Um, so they sell a lot of honey there. Um, and they also sell uh, your supplies if you wish to start making your own honey at home. Um, I had a little bit of a taste test. I got myself the spring mix, which just looks delicious. Well, one thing I've never had before, um, which I tasted was absolutely magnificent, was the cream honey. I don't know if anyone's had this before. Um, she said, asked her how she made it. Um, it takes about three days. <laughs> Turns out you just use the normal running honey. Um, you've got to give it a good whip. You've got to refrigerate it, pull it out, whip it again, refrigerate, and it takes a good three days of some heavy work um, to churn that honey and make it look that delicious buttery um, texture. It is quite thick as well. And one of the things she suggested I would do, which I will do soon, um, is get your crumpets, your toasted crumpets and paste that over it. So it just, it's not all oozy and runny. Hey, if you like it oozy and runny, like the way Lee does, <laughs> you won't have a problem with it. But I just thought it was pretty cool. Um, and you know what? to support your local um, small businesses as well so if you're ever in yay pop down to the little bee store um, and check her out thanks if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and as much as lee and i would love to be full-time travelers right now we're just not so we will only release youtube videos when we're able to so to be sure not to miss out subscribe and hit that notification button but feel free to follow us on social media on our Instagram page. I'll put up a link below in the comments so you don't miss out on a lot more current content. Thank you guys. Until next time. Bye.